we're going to make bugs and we're going to use that by taking paper scraps and gluing them down. Now the very first thing that we always, always, always do is write our name and class code on the back. Can you see that? I just wrote it in pencil and pencil shows up on a black piece of paper there. So make sure you write your name and class code on the back and flip it over. And we're going to be using glue, scissors, and scraps of paper. Now we're going to start with the body. Bugs have three parts. They have a main body, a head, and a thorax. So I'm just going to make an oval. And I do this by cut, cutting the corners, cutting the corners, cutting the corners, cutting the corners. Cut, 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 cut the corners, cut the corners. And then when I'm all done cutting the corners, I get my glue stick and I put on lots and lots of glue. Now remember, don't pull your glue stick up too much. And then I flip it over and now I'm ready to make my head. Now for the head, I'm going to get a color here and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to take that folded piece of paper and cut on that fold. And that way it's half the size of my body so that the head is smaller than the body. And I do the same thing where I cut the corners, cut the corners, cut the corners. And as you can see, I just cut out my oval and then I can glue it down here. Cut, 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 cut. Lots of glue and there's my head. And then I'm going to move on to my thorax, the bottom. So I'm gonna cut this in half and then I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna cut it in half again because it should be the smallest part. Now I could make it a circle like this by cutting those corners again. Or, if I want it to be a steaming bug, I could turn it into a triangle, just like that. And glue it down. Now I'm ready for my legs. Now there's these strips of paper, but they are way too long and a little bit too thick. So I'm going to cut them in half. Oh, still too long. Cut it in half. Let's see if it's still too long. Uh, it's pretty good, but it's too thick, so I cut it in half long ways. And now they're thin enough and small enough to be legs that will fit on the paper. Cut the other one in half, cut it in half, and glue down all of my legs. Because we're just cutting out rectangles now. So there's just some rectangles for my bug legs. And remember, bugs have six legs. Now it's time for the wings. First, I'm going to draw my wing shape on a folded piece of paper. Cut out that folded piece of paper together. And then, after the wing is cut, then I cut the fold. I can even make a little tab if I wanted my wing to stick up and glue on just the tab. See how I fold over a little tab there? And glue on just the tab. Now it's time for the decorations. I'm going to start with my eyes. Now, I, my eyes are going to be circle eyes, but those are too big. They could be on the body. They're even too big for that. So then I'm just going to cut my circle even smaller glue down these eyes onto the face here. And now I'm going to add some extra embellishments or extra decorations on the body. Some bug dots. Only these bug dots are going to be square. And then I'm going to put squares inside of those. So I'm just going to cut this rectangle down and have some squares. Oh, those squares are just a little too big, so I'm going to cut it down some more. And I put two together and cut it at the same time, which saved me some time. And after I get all of that glued down, I will be just about all done. I'm going to add the eyeballs for my bug and glue it all down. Remember to be gluing everything as you go. That way you won't lose your pieces. And there is my paper bug. And you can have one too.